Are you kidding? Really? And one day, and one day you completely murdered my my, my whole tier list. 2,000 views in, in 24 hours. And you change everything. Awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. That's right, we've got a new ban list. It's a small one this time, but oh my god, is it an impactful one. Both Jet Sylphie and uh, Tommy both going to one copy each. Like, for those decks, that that's huge. That is huge, huge, huge. And uh, I think the, the, the most brutal part of it, not, not that they're hitting the list, but just because they like completely wrecked my uh, my tier list prediction video we had jet sylphie Vaughn yellow hybrid at the top okay this was the go-to deck that i wanted to play to combat the meta the meta being grandis and alpha mon both those decks just being able to absolutely wreck you uh in a single turn take you from six security to zero and then immediately win uh, the best way to combat that, of course, was security control. Uh, that's how you handle OTK decks a lot of the time. Um, so now that that's no longer really on the table, what does that change, right? If if you can't use Yellow Hybrid anymore, you could, in theory, uh, swap out the Jet Sylphies uh, for the recovery level fives. So you have stuff like uh, Angelomon that's going to recover you, but that's only if you're at three or less. So th this one is another one that's on the table here. The Shakuamon, uh, when did you evolve? If you have five or fewer security, recovery one. But going from one memory to four memory to do the same thing feels pretty rough. Okay, I'm just going to say that it feels pretty rough. Uh, it does actually have an inheritable, which is kind of nice, though, that when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Okay, but I don't think that three memory Evo cost quite makes up for that there. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty brutal. Um, yeah, that's... Golly, like, what, what do we do from there? And then Blue Hybrid, uh, losing Tommy. So Tommy, you know, that's a big... Uh, resource strip and then evo swing use tommy to stun like he had it all in one everything blue hybrid does he just did it all on his own instead of like kumamon and then uh Kori kaku both doing like different things to uh, essentially get the same thing tommy just kind of did it all in one so uh that's gonna hurt them as well so both these decks falling down um yeah Golly, how did, so what does this change in our tier list prediction? All right, so I, I went ahead and pulled up the, the tier maker just right quick. What does this change? Jet Selfie Mon not long, no longer being able to com, uh, compete against some of these decks. Um, I think this was this was the deck that was power checking these two decks, honestly. I think both these decks are going to go to S tier now because the only thing, yeah, the only thing keeping them back was uh, security control. Security control just being able to put these terrifying thick cards in security um, easily and then just being able to recover beyond their OTK ability. So if, you know, Yellow Hybrid could go Jet Sylphimon into like a Seraphimon or an Ophanimon, get themselves to seven security, that makes Grandis very difficult. Even if Grandis, you know, if they incorporate the red package and get a delicate plan and then they swing for six, uh, and then they try to OTK immediately afterwards, uh, like Double Mimi or or uh, Hybrid. They can't do that anymore. And once they kind of you know blow their load essentially, and uh, and they do their big combo play, they're in a really tight spot because building up into a second stack or or keeping your body on field against Yellow Hybrid is always super difficult. Um, but without the uh, reliability, I would say, of being able to get into seven security super easily very memory efficiently um without that yeah they, these two decks just like kind of pop off and they and they're gonna go up a little bit higher now like i said there's other alternatives to jet selfie that could still kind of get you where you want to be um so i do think that this deck is still playable okay um i it's either like low a tier now or 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 maybe somewhere in rogue. I think it's still very good. There are other alternatives that get you to your heels. Um, Blue Hybrid though, Blue Hybrid was already struggling with cards like the X antibody option preventing uh, source removal. Like this was already going to struggle against a lot of decks, and now now losing their card that does everything in the whole deck 
um, all on its own, I definitely think that this is going to fall down uh, into Rogue, just because it's not going to have enough of the combo pieces that do what it wants to do. Now, it still has other things, like uh, it has Innocent Blizzard now from last set and, and things like that, so it still has a lot of really powerful tools that it didn't initially have. It's it's continued to get support indirectly, and uh, so I think it's still a contender. It's just losing three of its four Tommies is definitely really brutal. Like, that's one of the biggest source removals in the entire deck. So against, like, big stack decks, which this next format will be, uh, losing... Uh, Tommy is definitely going to hurt it a ton. Now, I don't think it was ever going to do anything against these other two decks, just because one, the X antibody option card, and then Grandish just you know promoting up at a raising area, digi bursting all their uh, resources away, and then just swinging for your face. I don't think it was ever going to do anything against Grandis. So uh, that's that's just you know a thing there. Um, it had a good matchup against Jet Sophie, Yellow Hybrid in general, just because. Uh, I don't know, it just does, just because their their option cards can't affect any of their tamers, so they could just kind of get by escape free for a while. Um, yeah, so this just really changes things up. And a lot of these decks that we're saying is going to be good, so it's going to be like a, kind of a rock, paper, scissors format of uh, yellow hybrids really good against the OTK decks, and then the OTK decks are good against everything else. But then a lot of this other, a lot of the everything else section was good against yellow hybrid. So... Now that Yellow Hybrid's not going to be in the mix as much anymore, some of these decks might fall off. But then other ones might shoot up. Uh, we might see a resurgence of uh, BL Star. BL Star may be becoming the new Yellow Hybrid in a way. Um, it's got it's got speed as well as it's got some really nice control cards. Uh, the only thing is, you if you don't get those control cards in security, you just kind of fall off. Um, so it's uh, we could see yeah we could see, definitely see a resurgence here. Uh, definitely changes things up, and this I'm just shooting this off the hip, you know, at the spur of the moment. Um, kind of unfortunate, like in a way, it, it needed to happen just because. I mean, literally, the post said, you know, these these cards have been uh, uh, in the meta to meta game way longer than anticipated. Yeah, I mean, they they definitely have been, um, but at the same time, they were we were entering a format where it was actually really important because they were going to power check some of these absurd decks but of course these are the two new decks so bandai wants them to sell and the best way to make something sell is to make all of its competition bad um so yeah i mean then they i think they hit the nail on the head there um, make your competition bad and then uh you'll you'll succeed and uh and that's exactly what's going on here so uh oh golly a super super frustrating um as as a yellow hybrid player that was going to try to play this deck to counter the meta and that was all i was doing was just going to counter the meta um it kind of sucks uh maybe maybe there's still you know room to to make changes and adjustments it's not like it's completely gone Okay, it's just down to one. I think, man, I feel like down to two, and it would still been playable. Like, I wouldn't have been worried. Down to one, uh, that's really frustrating. Uh, we saw it with Jessmon. When Jessmon lost Savior, it really murdered the crap out of that deck. And uh, and I think we're about to see the same thing happen in Jet. It's going to just slowly, slowly work its way down this whole list um, until something else happens. But, hey, uh, they did announce that uh, there's a 20th anniversary for um, Hybrids. Maybe they'll maybe they'll give us a new card. Uh, everyone just predicting it's going to be Altar Arts. Hopefully it's not an Altar Jet Selfie Mon. That's all I'm saying because that'd be a, kind of a waste. But hey, maybe it's going to be a new Jet Selfie Mon that's less busted. I think an Arata also would have worked fine. Um, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, it's yeah. I just I feel torn. I feel torn in the middle of uh, good, yes needed, but also as a player of that deck that really needed it to, to handle this next meta also frustrating. So, uh, but Hey, it's probably better for the game overall at least. So that, I guess that's good.